Uh, if you have a partner to help you out, that'll make it easier. Uh, what I like to do is I just hold the wheel for my partner. They put their toes about one inch deep through the straps, Velcro it down, then pull the rubber tube around to the back of the foot, around the back of the ankle there. Now she's locked in, it's pretty safe, good to go. How I like to start people on doing the supine exercises, or face up, is I like to have them bring their feet in. Now one of the reasons why I really love using the power wheel uh, in this position here is because almost all people have tightness in their hips, tightness in their back, they have the rounded back. So what we can do right here with this exercise is open up the hips, engage the backs of the legs like crazy, and then that creates more balance in the body, relieves a lot of pressure off your back, and you can really heal back pain really, really well with just this simple exercise. You also, by working your arms properly into the ground, activate the backside muscles of the upper body as well, so therefore you open up the shoulder area as well. Both areas are common amongst all people to have tightness. Tight hips, tight back, lots of pain. This exercise opens the body up and relieves the pain just like that. It's called supine bridge hold. Basically, Jessie's rolling the wheel in as far as she can, and then from here, she's gonna put her arms in a 90 degree bent position. She's gonna push the back of her arms down into the floor, and then she's gonna push against the plates, but she's gonna do so without letting the wheel roll out. So all I want her to do is lift her hips up high by pushing her shins forward. This is just a supine bridge hold. We do this in our ice and yoga all the time, and we do it off the floor. Doing it with the power wheel makes it that much more intense because you have that instability, and the wheel wants to roll out, so it forces you to pull it back in, thus really engaging the backsides of the legs, which opens the hips. She's working the arms into the ground, which opens the shoulders. Hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds, and then relax, and you might want to do a couple sets of that, when you stand up, you're gonna feel amazing. You're really gonna open the hips. So that's the first exercise we like to do. The second one, then we like to start to get some movement into it. So we like to let, roll the legs all the way out to a fully extended position and then pull the wheel back in. This is just a leg curl. Now a lot of people might find that they get cramping in the backs of the leg, which just tells you you have imbalance there in the hips. And if they have a cramping, then we want to let them put some more weight on the ground. And just going through the movement is step one. Step two is Jessie's gonna lift her hips one, just one inch off the ground and continue the same movement. Extend all the way to full and pull the wheel back in. Now she's really engaging the backs of her legs, but she's still working the upper body as well. So she's getting that openness happening a lot. Now, so this is a one inch lift leg curl. The next level up is taking her hips from one inch to six inches as she's curling the wheel in. So she rolls it out, her hips drop. As she's curling it back in, her hips raise. So she's staying in really good alignment as she's pulling the wheel in. This is very hard to do. Jesse's just making it look really easy. But to lift that high as you're doing this exercise, that's cool, Jesse. To lift that high as you're doing it is very, very challenging. So, First off, we got to hold the supine bridge. Second, we did the one inch lift. Then we did a one to six inch lift, at, so your hips are lifting as you're curling it in. The most intense is a plyo curl. So I like to start with that supine bridge hold, lift the hips one inch off the ground, and for this one, if you want to put your hands more down on the ground like this, totally cool because you're going to need extra stabilization here. So what Jess is going to do is she's going to take her legs out and in real quick and hold. Go, go, go. One more, go. Good, and relax. That's called a power wheel plyo curl. It's really dynamic in nature. You should only do it if you're at a higher level and you've been training this exercise for many months because it's so dynamic and we want the hips in a more balanced position before you start really popping the fast reps off. That's how we progress everything, from a static to a slow movement, and then we add more speed to it. So that is doing power wheel curl type exercise in a supine position. Next, we're gonna flip over 